Hello everyone, I welcome you to another episode about reproduction. Uh, by the time you are watching this video, I think you, are, you must have already watched another video, a previous video, which is about how to calculate safe days. Now, this video, in this video, we are going to take you through how you can be able to increase the chances of ensuring that your first born is a boy, your second born is a girl, your third born is a boy, your fourth born is a girl. Yeah, it's what you are going to learn today. How to increase chances of producing a boy or a girl. But for you to understand this video very well, you must have already watched another video which is about how to calculate safe days. So first look for that and then after you come and watch this one. And then for you who has already watched the other one, then you, you're on the right track. So how do we calculate, how do we increase chances of producing a boy or a girl? Just keep watching. Now, in our bodies, we have got what we have, what we call chromosomes. Uh, chromosomes are thread-like structures where different genes are usually located. You know, a gene is uh, is what control. For example, you as an individual, you have got genes that determine the color you are having, the genes which control the height you are having, the genes the genes which control uh, the kind of uh, the, 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 the skin color you are having and so on. So the gene, these genes which control different characteristics in our bodies are located on structures, on thread-like structures, which we call chromosomes. And in our bodies, we have got, in our bodies like human beings, we have got about, we have got about 46 chromosomes. We have got 46 chromosomes. Now, these 46 chromosomes are in, the, they, are, they have, half of those chromosomes, you got them from your mother, and half of those chromosomes, you got them from your father. So, uh, these chromosomes, uh, we are, so it means we have got uh, 23, 23 from, the, from your father, and then you have got 23 from your, from your mother. So these two combine together, and they form what? Uh, they form what you, call, uh, what you call a human being who has got a full, uh, a, a, a full set of 46 chromosomes. Now, among us, these 23 uh, chromosomes, uh, 23 chromosomes that you got from your father, and then 23 chromosomes that you got from your father, I mean from your mother. One of those chromosomes is what we call sex chromosome. Is what we call sex chromosome. Or a chromosome which has got genes that determine whether you are going to be a boy or you're going to be a girl. Whether you're going to be a man or you're going to be a woman. And so out of these, uh, well, out of these 23 chromosomes that came from your father and 23 chromosomes that came from your mother, uh, among us them, you got, uh, you got a chromo one chromosome which was from your father and then you also have one chromosome which is also from your, from, 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 your, from your mother. Now from your father, you can get a chromosome. Uh, so I am saying that out of, I beg your pardon, I'm saying out of these three chromosomes, one of the chromosomes is from your yeah, one of your one of those chromosomes is the sex chromosome, a chromosome which has got genes that determine whether you're going to be a boy or a girl. So our fathers, our fathers give us uh, give uh, our fathers have got sperms, very many sperms in their testes, but these sperms can either be having a, a sex chromosome which which is for boys. So this one for boys is usually uh, indicated as, uh, as Y, we denote it as Y. So the Y is the, is the chromosome, is the sex chromosome which, the, uh, chromosome which determines uh, somebody becoming a boy. Then some sperms of the fathers has got a sex chromosome which, which we denote by X. So this X is a, chrom is a sex chromosome is a sex chromosome which has got genes that genes make us to become that may, that that genes make somebody to become a girl so it means if a boy if a woman and then for the now this is for the father this is for the father but for the mother or for the woman for the woman the eggs of a woman which, which meet with the sperms, the eggs of a woman are always having a sex chromosome. This sex chromosome is ever X, X chromosome. 
and we are, as I already told you, that X chromosome is a, is a chromosome which has got genes that make one to become a girl. I hope that is very clear. Men have produced sperms. These sperms have got very many chromosomes, among which we have got another chromosome, which is called a sex chromosome. Now, some sperms of men can be having a sex chromosome, which is called the Y chromosome, which makes somebody to become a boy, which makes a, a, a product after the sperm has met with the egg to become a boy. And then some sperms have got a sex chromosome, which, is, which we do not as X. And that X chromosome, if the sperm has got X chromosome and it meets with an egg, it forms what we call a girl. So, the, uh, so and for the for the mother, all the eggs that the mother produces in their ovary, in their ovary, are always having a sex chromosome which is X, which is responsible for girls. In other words, if a sperm comes and it is X. And it, it, when it comes and meets with a woman, I mean it meets with a, an egg, which is, which is already X, this one will form a girl, a baby girl. When a sperm comes and, when a sperm comes and is having a Y chromosome, then it meets, it meets with the, an egg on the prop, in the appropriate tube here, which is already, which we have already said it is having X chromosome. Then here, you will be forming a boy, a baby boy. So we are saying, when a man produces sperms which have got X chromosome, the X chromosome of the sperm will meet with the egg which is already X and will form a girl. So a girl is noted as XX. Then when a man produces a sperm which has got Y chromosome, and that sperm comes and meets with an egg which is, which I have told that their eggs, all eggs are always, are always X. Then it will it means that we shall have a combination of y x or what you call even sometimes it is x y and that one will, will be forming us will give, will be giving us a baby girl I mean a baby boy I hope we are together there now after you have understood this concept now I come back here and I'm here I'm talking about sperms now we are seeing that, this, uh, that so it means the man is the one who is responsible for which baby to produce and therefore. Uh, this, uh, if you are a man and you're watching this video, you're on the right track. Now, it means a man produces the one who determines which sex the baby is going to be because we are saying he produces Y and X. If X meets with X of the egg, we have a girl. If X, I mean, if Y meets with X of the egg, we produce a boy. Now, these two sperm, the sperm, the sperm which has got X, the sperm which has got the, um, the sperm which has got X. X chromosome and the sperm which has got Y chromosome are, differ are, are, are different. How? A sperm which has got Y, a sperm which has got Y chromosome is, is short. Though actually here, uh, yeah, it is short, it is, it is small in size. When you check here, you see my wire, I put it in a small size. It is small in size and because it is small, it is light. And because it is right, it can run very fast. When the sperm enters here, when that sperm enters here, it can run very fast. Mm -hmm. That sperm which is having Y chromosome, uh, that sperm which is having Y chromosome is small, is right, and because it's right, it is very, it runs very fast. It can, you know, it has nothing to 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 make to, to it, so it can run very fast. And because it, it can run very fast, and then at the same time, uh, we are saying that it is. Uh, um, they're going to forgive me here. Yeah? Here, I'm going, this is supposed to be less. It is less fragile, though it is it runs very fast, but uh, it lives for a long, for a very short time. It is less fragile. I mean, sorry, sorry. I'm just going to say it is fragile. It lives for a short time. It takes a short time to die. Yeah, though it is short, light, and so on, but yes, it can run very fast, but uh, it dies after a very short period of time. I come to a sperm to a sperm which has got the X chromosome. Now a sperm which has got X chromosome, for it it is bigger in size. We check here. This is a sperm which has got the X chromosome. You know this is the X chromosome which is in a sperm. So a sperm which has got X chromosome, it is bigger in size. Uh, it is heavier. Uh, it is heavier because it is big. It is heavier, and therefore because it is heavier, it runs slowly. 
it runs slowly. But what is what is very advantageous is that for it, it it is more resilient. In other words, it lives. I can say it lives longer. It lives longer. It is more resilient. It can fight. It can stay longer within a woman's reproductive system. So I hope you are together here. The sperm lives for a very short time. It runs very fast. It is small and uh, and it is light. However, a sperm which has got X chromosome, that was a sperm which has got Y chromosome, but a sperm which has got X chromosome lives longer. It is big, it is heavy, and it runs slowly. Now, if you have understood this, I bring you here. Now, when we come here, I've told you that for you to be able to understand this thing very well, you must have watched the other previous video about uh, how to project for safe days. Now, in the other, in the previous video, he told me that uh, when, you are coaching, when you are looking at a, a woman's menstrual cycle, um, on this day 14, this for day 14 is, day, is the day for ovulation. It is the day when the egg comes out from the ovary and it comes to the fallopian tube or what you call the oviduct. It is the, the, the fallopian tube is that place where the egg is fertilized from for a woman to become pregnant. So, Ovulation takes place on the 14th day after menstruation. So if you take this day to be the day, if you take this day one to be the day uh, when you when a woman sees her first drop, for a woman who has not, how who has a cycle, who has a month, who has a month, who, uh, we are considering a woman who has got a month of 28 days. So you, you whatever you are going to do here, you can replicate it for a woman who has got 35 days. For a woman whose month is 21 days, you can just replicate. But here I'm going to use the, I'm going to use the, I'm going to use the, uh, I'm going to the cycle of 28 days. So if you have a, if you are using a woman whose cycle, if you are using a woman whose cycle is having 28 days. So I'm taking this one, day one, that's the day when she first sees her first drop of blood coming out. So from day one, you count 14, you, have, you count 14 days because on average, that's the day from menstruation that those are the number of days that are taken for a woman to ovulate. So on day 14, that's, where, that's the day when most likely most women uh, ovulate from the day when they first see the first drop of blood, which is day one in this, in this case. Now, ovulation, uh, I'm going to repeat, ovulation is the release of the egg from the ovary into the fallopian tube from where the egg is fertilized for you to have a zygote or a baby. Ovulation is, the, is that process by which the egg is removed from its bag, which is the ovary, into the fallopian tube or into the oviduct from where a sperm meets it and we have fertilization taking place and therefore we have a baby being formed or an embryo being formed. So, from, there, from the day when the woman sees her first drop of blood, it takes 14 days for that, for that woman to have an egg being released from its bag to come here for it to be fertilized. So, I have already told you in the previous video that the sperm can live in the egg for, for five days. I mean, the sperm can live in a woman's reproductive system for five days. And if you count, for five, if you count five days backwards, we can stop around there. This is one, two, three, four, five. So, these are five days before. So, five days before uh, a sperm, if a sperm enters here, I told you from this day nine up to day 15, these are are unsafe days in that a woman can become pregnant uh, a woman can become pregnant if they go into sexual intercourse why because i told you a sperm can live for a sperm can live for five days in a woman's reproductive system meaning that if a woman goes into sexual intercourse on the ninth day five days before the 14th day when the egg is going to be released from the ovary into the proper and to be into the proper and to be fertilized if a woman goes into sexual intercourse on the ninth day, the sperm will still be there, will live for five days until the fourteenth day when the sperm is going to come and, and we shall have fertilization taking place. Likewise, if sexual intercourse is done a day after, after the fourteenth day, that woman is going to become pregnant because the egg which has been raised on the fourteenth day can live for 24 hours. So the egg will still be there even on the fifteenth day they are trying to hope that maybe a sperm might come, a sperm might come and meet it there and we have fertilization and therefore we have a baby. So I told that from day, from, nine, from day 9 up to day 15, these are unsafe days. Now, it is this concept of the safe days we are going to use 
to see how we can increase our chances of producing a boy or a girl. How? Now, if you want to produce, if you want to produce, for example, let us begin with the, uh, with the, with with a boy. If you want to produce a boy, if you want to produce a boy. This is what you have to do. If a couple needs to produce a boy, and this is what it has to do. It ha uh, that couple must engage itself into sexual intercourse on either the 14th day, that day when the egg is released from the ovary to the colloquial tube, because the sperm, the, the sperm which has got Y chromosome, runs faster. So the sperm will run if they are all released and the, the sperms are, are having Y, one is having X, another one is having Y. They will all run, but in case there is the one, there is a Y, a, a sperm which has got Y chromosome, it will run faster and, and it will reach the egg before. The, the, before the X chromo, the, the sperm which has got X chromosome. And that way it means that sperm which has got Y chromosome, which runs faster, is likely to meet the egg faster than the, than the, than the counterparts, than the fellows which have got X chromosome. Or a couple, if it wants to produce a boy, must engage say, itself into sexual intercourse on day 15. Because on day 15, the sperm, I mean the egg, is already there. The egg is already produced on the 14th day. It's just there waiting. The egg is just here waiting. So if the egg is already there waiting on the 15th day, it means that uh, when a woman raises the sperms, the, 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 the sperm which has got the Y chromosome, the sperm which has got the Y chromosome, which is responsible for producing a boy here, is going to run very fast. Is going to run very fast compared to the to those sperms which have got X chromosome, and it is likely to to find the egg before the, those the, those sperms which have got X chromosome, and therefore the the sperm which has got Y chromosome will meet with the egg which is already X, and it will produce X Y uh, in the as I got, which will be responsible, which will be which will form us the baby is a boy. So it means if a couple needs to produce a girl. We need to increase chances of producing a girl. This is what the couple has got to do. It means this couple must go into sexual intercourse days before. For example, four days or five days before. Why? Because if they go, if the couple goes into sexual intercourse five days before, this will happen. This is what will happen. It means the sperms both. If I show the man is going to produce sperms which are have which are both having X chromosome and some sperms which are having Y uh, Y chromosome. All these are going to be sperm that a man is going to release. But we are saying the sperms which are responsible for Y chromosome, yes, they will run very fast. They will run very fast. They are they will run very fast, but they are fragile. They die fast. So if they die very, they die very early. So it means if a, a couple goes in sexual intercourse days before 14th day, the Y chromosome is going to run very fast, yes, but because the egg is not yet there, the sperms are going to reach there. The, the Y chromosome is going to die faster. It's going to die. It's going to die faster. But this one, which is the X chromosome for it, though it is slow, though it is slower in its movement, but it is more what? It is more resilient. It will still be alive. So it can be able to live for all these days. Like if I told me, assume, assume that the couple got, got, went into sexual intercourse on the, on the ninth day, the, 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 the sperms which have got X chromosome will be able to live. They are more resilient. They will be able to live for all these days until the 14th day when the egg is finally going to come and the sperm which has got the X chromosome, which is more resilient, is going to meet with the egg which is already X and this one will be able to, to, give, us, uh, to give us a baby, a baby girl. So it means if a couple needs to increase chances of producing for a baby girl, they have got to go into sexual intercourse days before. For example, four to five days before or three days before the ovulation day, which is the 14th day. Why? Because if a man raises X and Y sperms which have got X chromosome and Y chromosome, those sperms which have got X chromosome, I mean those sperms which have got Y chromosome, because for them they are, they, they are fragile, they will die faster. When they die faster, the one which is the sperm which have got Y chromosome for them, they will still be more resilient, and therefore they can still remain there until day 14, when the egg finally comes and the the X the, the sperm with the X chromosome, which is more resilient, meets with the egg, 
and therefore producing a baby girl. And in that way, in that way it means, uh, in that way it means that uh, a couple would have increased chances of producing a baby girl or a baby boy. Yeah. So on addition, um, on addition uh, to uh, following all these methods of increasing a boy and a girl, producing a boy and a girl, like I've explained to you, it is also believed that uh, uh, if a, a, a young couple, a couple which is still young, is, like, is more likely to produce boys than a couple where uh, where we have uh, where, which is very which, who's the, uh, who, whereby the mother and the father are very old or a man and the wife are very old. Why? Because if on the side of the man, if the man is still very young, it is believed that the, their sperm counts are usually, are usually very too too many, and therefore if the sperm counts are very many, then it means that uh, there is a high chance of that couple have of that man. Some of those, uh, some of the sperms of that man being uh, being more of of uh, having more of Y chromosome than those ones which are having X chromosome. But apart from that, because I've told you this is a young couple, so it means I'm not only considering a man; you're also considering a woman. Um, I'm also considering a woman. It's also believed that if a man, if a woman, if a woman is also still very young, the liquids are the fluids within her reproductive system. The cervical fluids within her reproductive system here are more alkaline. And because they are more alkaline, they favor more of the they favor more of the uh, about uh, the movement of the of the sperms with Y chromosome compared uh, to the move to the movement of the sperms with X chromosome. So that means that the a couple where the man is young and the woman is is, is young, they can they are likely to produce uh, their children uh, when they are more of boys than girls. Then on the side of uh, on the side of producing more girls, it is believed that uh, even these days some people are asking that uh, how come you know in our population we have got very many uh, very many very many girls than boys. One of the reasons is here that uh, for the case of uh, uh, when you check our lifestyle, uh, our lifestyle is a, is a style, we live in a lifestyle whereby we are exposed to very many radiations. For example, some of the, some people where they work from, they usually are having smartphones. These smartphones, they are usually putting it around their, their reproductive, uh, reproductive organs. Some of them people have laptops everywhere. You go in and they are working in an area which is having wireless internet everywhere. So all these very many radiations, some other people, some other men smoke, drink alcohol, which has got other chemical components within there. So some of all these chemicals dra from drugs, from alcohol, and also radiations from our environment, the, the wireless internet and, you know, machines, computers, and so on, uh, they have got an effect within the sperms of a man. And because I've told you uh, that uh, when you compare sperms which have got Y chromosome and those ones which have got X, uh, X chromosome, those ones with the Y chromosome are less fragile. In such harsh, in such harsh situation or harsh environment, it is uh, those radiations, those chemicals usually kill first the the, 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 the sperm with Y chromosome. So the sperm with Y chromosomes are usually they usually die faster because of the radiations, because of the chemicals within the alcohol, within the drugs that most of us usually take during our lifestyle. And therefore, it means that in most cases, you find that most men end up because of the environment. Most men end up having most of their semen having more of the more resilient uh, sperms with the X chromosome which is responsible for producing girls and that one could be in one way or the other responsible for as to why you have, we have got very many girls in our environment compared to boys among many other reasons. Thank you very much and I hope you have learned something. If you're watching for the very first time make sure you tap on the subscription, um, on the subscription button there below this video. Thank you very much. May God bless you.